so I pried the book from his hands and tore the covers off to bring home. I'll be able to afford another slave this harvest season, at the very least. Uh, these Saxons and their books? You'd think they were more precious than their own lives, but if no one lives to speak of what's written down, who will remember it? <laughs> Not to speak of how they treat their dead. Putting bones or pieces of wood inside golden boxes. <laughs> how this honors their god, I'll never understand. Waiting won't make it any easier. Thorstein, the hero of many tales. I could not let you pass without experiencing the sting of your wit. Uh, the mood I'm in, you'd best hope for a stinging rather than a lash. <laughs> <laughs> then let's begin. On the Isle of Ely, great riches were won. It was over before this flighting begun. Come, Thorstein. Surely you can do better than that. I've heard of your legend, your grace and prowess. You said it yourself. I've no need to impress. <laughs> the merchant with the silver tongue strikes again. <laughs> it's a shame Harald Jarl outshines you so brightly. Beware that such insults aren't those I take lightly. A proper threat! Delivered in perfect rhythm! Oh, how I've missed you, Thorstein! I trust you have been stung enough for now. Thorstein! You've been far from our shores, but never my thoughts. There's something I must say, my all. <laughs> so formal. Did the crossing scour our friendship from your mind? It did not. It's only by friendship that I'm brave enough to speak. Well, tell me then. I'm listening. I tire of raiding Harold. I want to settle where there's rich, dark soil for the taking. I want to make a place of our own where I can live out my days with my wife. You're young yet, my friend. Plenty of time to grow old with a bouncing infant on its knee. No, my Jarl. I've delayed too long already. Today I search for a ship. I have none to spare. Then I shall purchase one. Commission, perhaps. I hope this folly of yours can withstand a year's wait. <sighs> if that is what it takes. It is no slight to you, my Jarl. My love for you has not waned, but... My love for my wife only grows stronger with each absence. I hope you will bless my journey in time. Go! Let's <laughs> 
Woody, keeping those hands of yours busy. Huh. They'll be ready to tie knots in the worst winter storms, I swear. And they're going to bring it all the way from a Kundersund? Definitely not. My parents have never traveled farther than Notfall, and they complained about the food the whole time. Have you told them of your plans to sail west? Not yet. They've woven sails for Thorstein before. No need. Ulla, it's been a long time. It has. Time has hardened you, my friend. As it has me. Not yet. They've woven sails for Thorstein before. No need for them to know that this time will be any different. Not at Ulf, it is good to see you again. I couldn't miss this chance to sail with the mighty Thorstein now, could I? Not yet. They've woven sails for Thorstein before. No need for them to know that this time will be any different. Not until all our hard... Well... How did it go with Harald? Harald will not stand in our way, but neither will he help us. Oh, at least he could give you his blessing. He did not. Oh, my love. He will come around. His love for you flows deep, but its pull is as strong as the tides. I see you've made good on your promise to find us traveling companions, at least. This group of good-for-nothings? They're only here as ballast. Ah, then find a ballast I've never seen. <laughs> it's a good start, but we will need more men. And the navigator. I know. I've gathered a list of names already. Ah, my leader, Stjarna. Imbolder, I need a ship. My wife and I leave for the land across the sea. Uh, Harald won't pay for such a vessel, I'm sure. Did you really fill your pockets that well on your last raid? I have gold enough to cover the cost. Wood, sails and all? Gunhilda's family will provide the sail. The rest I will purchase. Ah, uh, you are a lucky man. I know. Speak with Skarga for a pine mast then, and yarn for the nails. <laughs> Tell him I'll expect him to be on time with his deliveries in the future. I'll see what I can do. Thorstein, what brings you to my yard?
Involder sent me. Oh, Pine. I'm sorry, what? New to shipbuilding are you. Come with me. You'll learn better by doing. Use that axe to remove the bark from this log. Underneath, you will find silken pine, flexible and light, that will bend in the wind, perfect for a mast. Once you have a sense of the wood, come find me and I'll show you another. in the wedges gently. We want this log to split as straight as possible. That way, we will have long, hard, boards of oak for the hull of your ship to protect you and your felic. I'll wait for you over there. Planning the wood ensures a tight fit between the boards, leaving no gaps or knots that might give way in the middle of the sea. The smoother the joins, the smoother your journey. Now, which type of wood did Melder send you for? I believe you may be mistaken, friend. Luckily, I have the patience of Balder himself. Then why did you ask me? You won't forget again, will you? <sighs> Pine for a mast. I'll send your new mast to the shipyard as soon as it's ready. Are you looking for something? Involder sent me. Of course he did. He tried those nails from Aval's nest, and I bet they fell apart in the salt water. <laughs> I use nothing but pure iron, which is why he hates my prices. But at least you won't find yourself suddenly sailing in a bucket full of holes. <laughs> ah, head inside the shop. You can take a box from the stack against the back wall. But tell him he'll have to pay up front if he wants more. I'm the one funding the construction of this ship. You will be paid in full. I have no doubt. Eventually. Imbaldir makes ships that sing on the ocean waves. But mundane thoughts of silver and death never seem to enter his mind. Don't worry, I'll talk to him. Go get your nails.
Ah, uh, finally you return. Now, there's one last step to take. Come with me. Which animal would you like best for your prowl? I have three available, so you can choose the spirit that suits your intentions. Uh, you will also need to bring me a blessed charm to put inside the prowl. But I won't need it for many months yet. Take a look and let me know if you have any questions. Tell me about the horse. The horse? A risky choice. But you can count on it to lead you quickly to port, with the proper ritual precautions, of course. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the elk. Uh, the elk is associated with the cycle of life, death and rebirth. For a new beginning in distant lands, it could be quite fitting. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the serpent. The snake-headed prow will ensure you dominate the waves with disconcerting ease and great stability. Is this the prow you want? I'm not sure. Take your time. Tell me about the elk. Uh, the elk is associated with the cycle of life, death and rebirth. For a new beginning in distant lands, it could be quite fitting. Is this the prow you want? Yes. Excellent. Then we can get started. Aikthirni. Bless us on our journey to new lands and a new home. Thorstein. <sighs> yes, my Jarl. I was childish before. In my joy at seeing you home, I wasn't ready to discuss your departure again so soon. Nor see you gone for good. Please, accept this with my blessing. Unjo, the rune of kinship. And why not? No man has been a truer brother to me than you. It has been an honor to have you in my Fjellach, even if this leg of the trip will be shorter. The day has finally come. And all too soon. Many have come before you. And many will come after. Yet, when I die, it will be your friendship that I recall as I await the opening of Valhalla. There, we will meet again. Go then! And the winds take you swiftly to soft lands and great riches. May your name never be forgotten. Treat her well, Thorstein. Oh, my wife will make sure of it. I've never seen a woman more in love with a boat. And I've never seen so fine a sail. If you ever return, I will have work for her. And I can apprentice myself to Skaga. A sound plan. You still owe me for that last box of nails? Uh, Invoder told me he paid. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Be well, Thorstein. <laughs> and you. I shall miss your scathing replies, Thorstein. And I'll miss your insufferable arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> 
God smile on you, my friend. A fine ship for a fine man. And the finest craftsmanship I've ever laid eyes on. You have blessed us indeed. <laughs>